Hello everyone, this is Limpy welcoming you to the free MMORPG daily news update for Wednesday, January 30th, 2013. First up, we have news from Terra Online, the free-to-play MMORPG from GameForge. Today, the company publishing the game in the European region, GameForge, made it official and announced that the game will officially enter into the free realm on February 5th, 2013. The game's free model will include two account types, Free and Veteran. All players will have access to all content in the game, including all races, classes, and both PvE and PvP content. The veteran account holders will be treated to some special bonuses, of which all, at this time, look to be convenience-based, boosts and the like. Those players who do not wish to subscribe to a veteran account will still have access to the item shop, which will also be loaded with boosts, other character development items, mounts, and of course cosmetic items for you and your gear. Moving right along, we have more news for European gamers from Dragonica, the free action MMORPG from G Potato. Today, players who log into the game will find that the Fusion update is now live. Players can expect to find a major storyline twist as the world of Ragnarok Online finds its way into the action world of Dragonica. This latest update adds the new town of Geffen, as well as the all-new Ragnarok-inspired quests, rewards, costumes, dungeon instances, and more. With Fusion, players can also expect more weaving of the two worlds in the near future, more with more dungeons, such as the new dungeon that will be found in the ruins of Ragnarok City, also more pets, NPCs, achievements, and maps from the world of Ragnarok that will find their way into the world of Dragonica. As we continue, we have news from Neverwinter, the upcoming free MMORPG from Perfect World Entertainment. <clears throat> All new Founders Packs are now available for those players who are looking for a jump start into the game's beta testing phase. If you want to not only check out what the game has to offer early, but also wish to support the development of, the dunge of this Dungeons & Dragons inspired title, three different Founders Packs are available and range in price as well as breadth of the awards given for their purchase. Players will have access to three beta testing weekends on February 8th through the 10th, March 8th through the 10th, and March 22nd to the 24th. The next bit of news we have comes from Forge of Empires, the free browser-based strategy title from NL Games. Today we were treated to several images for the upcoming Industrial Age. Players can reach this age by completing portions of the technology tree in the Colonial Age. New buildings that are being shown off are for the Natural History Museum and the Wheelwright, with many more expected in the future. With the move to the Industrial Age, players will also be treated to a new map in the New World. Technologies in this newest age will prepare players for their journey to conquer the Wild West. Next on our list is news from Elsword, the free action side-scroller from Killer Combo. The company came out today and has announced that the all-new tag team mode is now available for those players who wish to, wish to brave the challenges of PvP. The way it will work is that players will fight in a central arena, team members will wait and at any time they will be able to be tagged into the match by their teammate. If any of you are wrestling fans out there, you know the rules of tag team match all too well. This new PvP mode is just a long, is just a long line in the updates to the game that seem to come weekly, and really expands the PvP options available to the game's player base. The last bit of news we have today on our list is from Wizardry Online, the free MMORPG from Sony Online Entertainment. As of today, January 30th, 2013, Wizardry Online has officially launched and is now available to all players in North America and Europe. Not only is the game <clears throat> available through standard download, but the game is also now available on the Steam platform as well. This free-to-play title does come with quite the warning label as player's death can be permanent. But those players looking for an old-school type game that brings back the hardcore rules from the gaming of yesteryear, Wizardry Online offers this for players looking for a challenge in both the PvE and PvP. Now that's all for today, but for more info on all these titles, head on over to MMODen.com. Also, don't forget to come check out my live streaming on Twitch TV at twitch.tv forward slash MMODen and earn a chance each day to win one of our three weekly prizes given out each and every Monday. For now, this is Limpy for MMODen. Until next time, thanks for watching.